You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Welcome and thanks for stopping by the Lucky Mini Food Kitchen today. I am going to make cheese fries with bacon bits on top. I thought that would be fun to do. So I'm all set. I have my potatoes, I have my bacon, my cheese, I have some frying oil, and a little bit of heavy cream, which I like to put in the cheese. Kind of keeps it soft and all drippy on your french fries, which is really nice. So to start off with, I think I'm just going to put some bacon in the pan. It's all heated up and ready to get that going, and then I'll work on the actual potatoes. So here we go. You should hopefully get some sizzling going on there. So well, that'll continue to fry as I start working on the potatoes. I think I need to squeeze one more piece in there for my topping. All right, so let's move on to the potatoes now. All right, this helps the potatoes from going brown before you slice them, so almost forgot. All right, let's head back over. Bacon is cooking really nice. Let me just peel a few of these here. Let me get it started. It's easier when you get it started. And then I can go this way like I normally use a peeler for. And what I'll do is I'll get, uh, well, I'll just do one here for you and then I'll come back, have the rest peeled for you so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Let's just get this last little bit off. Okay, now you can leave the skin on. Some people do like skin on french fries. And uh, I'll be back when I get a few more done. All right, I did want to check in on my bacon here. It's actually getting crispy on that piece. I want it nice and crispy so that I can crumple it and I'm almost done with my potatoes I have one more I actually found that if I just did it this way like I was using a peeling knife worked good but the peeling potatoes is always messy a lot of times I'll do it over a garbage can you know when you Got one handy if you got a lot to peel. Although these are kind of small, so it also adds a slight challenge to peeling. Okay. Well, I have a few more to go. Here, you know what? I brought in another bowl with a little more water in it. Let me switch this one out. There. Didn't realize how many I was going to peel. Much better. All right. And then two more to go. So I'll be back when these are set. My bacon should be close. And then we'll actually start frying and getting the cheese ready to make some nice cheese fries. I will be back. All right, bacon is almost set. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. Now I need to cut my potatoes. So here we go. I'll do like these half wedge potatoes and then I'll see if I could make them skinny. Now it's very important here to try to get them all the same thickness. And then I'm going to transfer them to paper towel after this because I want them to be in as limited water as possible. Okay so I have a lot of cutting to do here. I will keep checking back till I get some more of this cut and then I'll move over to the fryer. All right, I'm in the process of taking care of the potatoes, I've got a nice pile, so these look super crispy. 
And you know what I thought? It'd be nice to keep the bacon grease in here. It's good and hot and it will make for a nice addition to the french fries. So when I head back over there, I'll add more oil. I'm almost set here. So next thing is head over to the fryer. All right, so I'm starting my first batch of fries. So let me get some in here. Now I want to be careful because it is hot oil and then I don't want to overcrowd the little pan here. So let me put some in. The fries are looking golden brown, so I thought it's a good time to start with the cheese sauce. So I'm taking a soft cheese, and this should melt pretty good and pretty quick. My fries will be done, and we'll head over to the tasting table. And I do like to add that little bit of heavy cream to kind of soften it all up. So what I'll do is I'll just keep checking back and whisking this till we have a nice cheese sauce for the fries. Okay, you should be seeing me now. I've been salting my fries as I go along, which I need to do for that last batch. I just took them out. This should be a nice creamy cheese sauce. It's getting there. Keep checking back till this is nice and creamy and then we'll add it to the top of those fries so I will be back it's looking real good look at that that's gonna pour on real nice all right so top up uh, well let me put a little salt on that last layer of fries they're coming out really nice and they're crispy get that out of the way this looks like it's nice and cheesy and heated up Bacon is ready, I'm all set. So let's head on over to the table and get these all prepped and ready to taste. I think we're good, all right, let's go. All right, here we go. I think I can 
pretty much fill my little platter there that I've been using. I think I could just lift them right off the paper towel. And here we go. Here's my fries. Look at that. Crispy and golden. Here, I'll just show you. Let me crunch one of these ones right here. Crunching time. Okay, cheese on top of that. See what I mean about the creamy cheese, how nice that looks? I like a lot of cheese. Plus you got to get to the ones on the bottom, so I would say that's pretty good. Alright, and then my bacon bits, which I will create right now. up here. Thought I would need the spatula for scooping these up. I do have a new spatula on the way. Oh, I think that's good. Yeah, let's just use it up. Can't go wrong with bacon. And a stray fry. Okay. Maybe just a little bit more cheese on there, huh? Just kind of in those spots, just to kind of... Yeah, put it right there on the plate, then you can dip into it. All right, let me zoom into that so you get a nice look at those. All right, so I gotta try some, right? That's why I'm here to cook and taste. So here we go. Ooh, the cheese is keeping them together real nice. It's gonna be crispy. I just gotta take the whole bite now. These are nice bite size. Mmm, perfect. Super tasty. And there you go cheese fries with bacon bits and until I see you next time happy eating if you're looking for the item you just saw in the video click here watch more videos by clicking here don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up hey LPS Dave what's up butch make sure they don't forget to subscribe oh yeah please click here to subscribe to lucky penny shop and always remember when you see a lucky penny pick it up